back Tyson, corner. They're blood trying to Take check around the corner. Right, the player move forward, and Link Chi begins some beautiful shots out there. Just to swing it. It gets killed by the trip mine, and that's just perfect late thing. Looks like Outlaw is getting set up on this roof because it is going to be a third floor bomb site here. And we've got Link's GTV here around the corner. Um, ready to kind of pounce on the, depending on how outlaw decides to approach this area I'm um, obviously coming in a little bit early with that drone trying to get some good Intel before they make any approaches here. I Think Link's GTV definitely seeing something happening there and pulling back and oh they got knocked on by fem there um, A funny name because that's definitely one of the bot names and I you know, it's always fun when people have those uh, bot names um, And I'm assuming it's very intentional, right? Looks like Frag coming out there from the outlaw side. Not quite uh in, you know, able to get somebody there. But things are working out there. I've been able to get a shot off on Plubra as they were trying to swing that. And Karen able to knock down one of the players with that refrag there for the back. Now a 2v3 for the two teams. And Tanky able to knock down another player as they try to swing wide, getting some shots off. I don't think anyone has an EMP on outlaw side, so they're trying to maintain position. Never mind, Tanky taking out another player. Oh, and that does not quite work out for them as Tinky tries to swing that one and does have it work out for them. And it looks like Ground Zero starting off to a pretty solid start there. Um, but it, it was close though. It was definitely a close game at the end there. I wasn't sure who was going to take that one. Um, but it looks like Ground Zero coming out of that one with their first win in the pocket. Link GTB hiding around this corner. I'm going to see if I can get some good value off of this. And Peppa Big around the corner. Um, probably expecting something there. Plug Brother trying to get a peek in potentially, but never mind. I think they decide to peel off. Some good shots here. Went for Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig on the back end there. Maybe some real bad. Oh, good shot there from Karen. It will knock down your off. Plug Brother tries to swing that, but doesn't quite get some value out of that. Never mind, Bishop. Are there a lot of bot names in my trip? Uh. Never mind, Plubra able to get a shot up on Peppa Pig from around the corners. They were not um, expecting that corner there. Anyways, all four players might well now trying to come in and get some attacks off. Tanky somehow not getting shot through the wall. And now Law's going to be getting set up here pretty soon. A lot of wall banks here from ground zero side, but nothing quite happening yet. It's about a minute and a half in the round. Um, and at this point, Outlaw's just holding down this room, trying to see how they can approach this. A lot of shots, you know, on the ground zero side, but no deaths, which is definitely surprising. They do have that syringe in hand. Might be trying to really lean in um, to maximizing that time and, you know, getting value out of that syringe. Just Link's GT be able to kind of help themselves uh, get a little bit healthier, but it looks like someone is going to be flanking Flubber on the other side. Where is Flubber? There it is. There it is. Never mind, Flubber over there's some shots. Never, wait, can I read? I decided to swing that one. Can't even get some shots off there. Never mind. They got some shots off there. I've been killed there by Bishop. And they're not expecting him on the back end. It doesn't matter. Finish that one out in the last second there. I mean, a huge swing there. A lot of shots coming in from both sides. Um, a lot of action going on there. And I, I'm surprised that nobody saw um, Bishop there in the very end. But hey, that's a good way to hide in the corner and avoid getting killed. And follows, oh my god, Link GTV able to get some shots off of that trip mine. I cannot believe that worked out for a double hit back here. As they both swing that one, that turns out terribly. A double frag as they try to get some exchanges there, but it doesn't quite work out there. Looks like it's going to be a 4v1, 2, 3. Never mind, it's a 5v2 here. Um, Outlaw definitely taking some huge, huge losses early on in the round there. But they still have two minutes left. They can get some value out of this, but I mean, you got players like Peppa Pig on the back end there. Only one health in their pocket. I mean, they're going to have to do something to hold that down. And it looks like we do have the outlaw players deciding to peel off and play it a lot safer than playing on site there. I'm um, sorry, in the map there. Uh, peeling all the way off to the roof, and now they're just going to be waiting that one out. 30 seconds left in the round. You know, definitely the smarter play. You know, you got players like Bishop and Femme here. I believe they both have Vezins in hand. It'll definitely work out for them better in the upcoming round if they can save that one up. I mean, you got players like Femme with a Spectral on their hip. They can definitely give that to their teammates, save a couple, you know, 500 bucks 
um, for their teammates to spend on the Spectre in the upcoming round. But anyways, looks like we got another round in a pocket, but Ground Zero there. And Ground Zero, definitely interesting to see how they play. We've seen a lot of strong anchors from them, especially on this side. Uh, there's been a couple times, like, players where they had, you know, some uh, roamers, but not really deep roamers. Just mostly kind of slightly extended, and that's really about it. And Link CTV seeing a lot of shots here. Uh, nothing quite happening there. I know Frag came deep in, but nothing uh, killing anyone there, unfortunately, for them. But I think we are going to be seeing another A setup here. Anyways, a lot of setup here again from Outlaw. Trying to get uh, this push into A side using this breach wall. And it looks like the ground zero players are definitely moving around. Trying to get some good setup here. And we do. Never mind. Peppa Pivot with a beautiful shot there. Knocking out two players. Getting shot down themselves. Though, like, oh, oh, right and right a here. beautiful frag coming out there. Never mind. It doesn't quite I land there. But doesn't matter. That will finish up. And get that refrag. Now, Karen on the back side. Trying to prevent Egos from coming in. Egos from swinging. Never mind. Karen's knocking him down for the count. Now, leaving it all down to them. And take his own out. He's in the area. Trying to prevent them from coming in. Oh, as they knock him down for the count. I do not think they're ready for that. Them able to get a shot off, now leaving a 1v1, and again, this is what I keep seeing between these two teams. I know Outlaw can make something happen here as they try to go in for the mix-up, but it looks like they try rotating off to really um, throw off the ground zero player, but Karen is holding their ground, expecting them to play this side. Oh, and Fem able, I, I'm shocked that that worked. I mean, the beautiful angle that camera's holding, but Fem just knew to swing that one, and it worked out perfectly for them. And the Outlaw players getting set up on the outside here, probably going for this breach into this. I forget the name of this room. Um, icicles or something like that. Storage, ice cubes. I forgot. It's something like that. Ice core storage. And it looks like it's main storage. So just storage is here. Fragment out live. A beautiful shot there from the uh, wall bank from Karen. I can't talk. And a beautiful frag coming out right now. But not quite going over. Never mind. It was not a beautiful frag. Ooh, shots out from Bubra in that little corner. And I think now Bubba is going to be trying to check this one out. Looking around for the players, do they see anyone coming in? Frags coming out right now as Fem decides to try to swing this one. And they're just holding down this corner right now between Brown, Zero, and Outlaws. Someone tries to gain the advantage here, but it looks like we're going to be seeing some movement here now with the fleet. So there it is, going live now. And down to the Ground Zero players if they can hold this angle. Outlaws getting set up here. And a lot of different things going on here, but no one quite committing yet. I mean, a minute and a half left in the round. Outlaw being very careful about that corner, making sure that no one swings it and catches anyone live. I think a frag was trying to go in. Never mind, they decide to not use that on the static. Peppa Pit on the back corner. The plug bug trying to check the around to the corner. The player move forward. And Link CT begins some beautiful shots out there. Just about to swing it. It gets killed by the trip mine. And that's just perfect placement. As Tanky decides to swing that one goes. And everyone able to knock down Fem in the back corner there. As Tanky gets that two piece. And Ground Zero just doing an amazing job tonight. Trying to get. Oh, I, don't even know I think I'm good. Okay, well, that's a good I'm angle. Got one. Got Fem. Got Mad. Got beautiful frag out there, knocking out Fem for the count. I mean, where was that? Oh my goodness, that was all the way over here. How did they somehow work that one out? Yeah, it looks like I've been definitely aware that some droning is gonna be coming in here, but deciding to peel off and beautiful, beautiful shots down on the drone there from Karen. But Bishop on the back end there, I don't think he'll be ready for Ivan and a beautiful kill by Bishop to be able to get that uh, Marui switch up. And that's a beautiful 
add-on for Outlaw's side. Now in a 4v4 trades from both sides. Outlaw is definitely trying to claw their way back in to get another win here. But can Ground Zero hold their ground to prevent that from happening? Yep, good entrance series coming from Outlaw as they decide to swing the whole thing, throwing out some smoke grenades. Nothing quite happening there, but they are trying to cut off some good lines of sight. And some beautiful shots there from Blubber, but Karen there for the refrag, and Fish should be able to get that refrag on them. Now leaving a 2v3 setup right now. Outlaw is getting a big, beautiful advantage here. But can they get the plant? Never mind. Where is the EMP? It is down right now, but Ago is able to get a shot off on Peppa Pig there. Now leaving it down all for Tanky. They're trying to hold the Bishop decides to swing that and get the shot off on Tanky. Getting that round in the pocket for Outlaw. I cannot believe it worked out for them in the end there. But a beautiful reset that worked out perfectly for Outlaw. As long as Outlaw can maintain a momentum and get things going forward, this can switch up real good for them. But the same thing can be said about Ground Zero. If they really lay in the work now to get things set up. This can work out very favorably um, for Ground Zero here. Ooh, and they probably sw swung them not expecting to see so many players that are beautiful beautiful shots over that uh wall bang but nothing quite happened there Beppo pig able to get barely out of the way and getting killed there so many shots coming in from the ground zero side through this wall nothing surprisingly no one has been traded yet um but hey look out look at those healths definitely a lot of damage was received on the ground at zero side i don't think they have any syringes in hand so that is definitely going to take a toll on them later in the round um, when things get a little bit hotter but beautiful defense right now from the outlaws they held them down for a fair amount of time but it looks like we are going to see some players from ground zero side deciding to go in for the swing and rotating to the other side karen and a tanky are deciding to probably go in for the hatch play above icicle storage or something like that. I think it's like ice. Anyways, we're gonna see potentially some good ban, uh, you know, value here. I think Tanky might be deciding to fly in for this one, and they are as they get some shots off, but they were not expecting Bishop to score. Have a bigger swing that one, and Karen to finish up. It doesn't matter. The Beefry coming in there now, two v three. Round zero side is trying to hold this one up, but I mean, they might be falling apart. But then, never mind, they get swung by them. Now, leaving Lynx GTV to fight a 1v3 right now, and they are so close to knocking out Ghost. But Ghost says, I'm going to win this one and work it out for Outlaw. Outlaw coming off to a really, really solid start here. Anyways, Peppa Pig here with some early, early shots in a round. Not quite working out for them, but it's fine. They can make something happen here. You know, and good thing to notice on the outlaw side, we're not really seeing any deep roaming play here. Anyways, frag coming out. Not quite landing anywhere, but definitely scaring people off. I mean, definitely aware that ground zero is be making a push right now onto A site. As a beautiful flash in there to knock out Bishop for his count. Someone? And Lee Someone? swinging that with a Jasper in hand, somehow making those shots count so much. Let me see where the best in the player is. Cause no, never mind. Ghost finally swinging in, getting some shots off, and I've been there. And Link GTV almost knocking down the Ghost with the count. And Plubra will knock finally Tanky down for the count. They got Karen in the back. Able to get a two piece there from Plubra. Now coming down to Links. Never mind. That is it. That is gone. Peppa Pig deciding to swing far by themselves. There we go. Swinging wide with that Bezin. And some beautiful, beautiful, you know, beautiful value is there, and Europe somehow surviving with one health in hand. Anyways, very similar push here. It might be an A B push. Sorry, B push. As you were setting him on his kitchen side here. It looks like they are deciding to swing in. Can them to hold the angle? Yes, they can. I've been on the back there, and they didn't get any value out of that. And I've been also deciding to swing this one. Now coming down to Femme, and they just swung now. Beautiful swing by Femme there. And now the ground zero player is very much aware that something's going on there as Egos decides to swing that. And no, just perfect timing from the ground zero players. 
And man, they're doing a good job right now. Outlaw holding down the ground zero players as they've not really been able to get a good foothold on this position area. Link's oh. getting a beautiful swing there Got my. with a really deep lane. Karen trying to get some value and potentially get a pick. There's a beautiful frag coming out. Able to knock out some shots off on Link's GTV there. And Tanky taking it from the wall bangs. And I mean, at this point, Outlaw is just holding these crazy angles against uh, Ground Zero. And they just literally cannot gain any ground. You know, I thought, honestly, Ground Zero's defense was going to be impenetrable. But I'm seeing Outlaws right now. And they are doing such good damage against Ground Zero. It looks like they are struggling to take a foothold here. Now a minute and a half in the round. Um, only half the round left. But Tanky coming in here. And they are going to be going in for a push sometime soon. Oh, and Link is getting swung on, but it doesn't matter. Karen is there for the refrag. I was trying to see if I can get a first person. Meet. That's what's. I'm not complaining about Spectate Klein. I already said that. It looks like we are going to have some ground to zero players deciding to potentially push this one forward. Oh, and Bishop does a beautiful swing there. A beautiful swing there by was that Bishop? No, it was Bishop that goes. It looks like they both double swing them and that did not work out. But the outlaw players living with three players up again, killing it right now against ground zero. As their momentum has been on fire now, three rounds back to back to back. Um, and this is probably gonna be the round that we're gonna see some economy stronger economy disadvantages from the ground zero players. You know, some players having to play out with spectrals this time around. Um, because they unfortunately had that loss in the previous round, but Outlaw has been holding it down. They've already set it up really nice for a pitch sometime soon. Club right in that long corner. They swing in here. Them holding a beautiful corner on Link TV, but they get a refrag from Ibin. The long frag that does get a lot of good value. And another frag coming out, and it almost knocks out Tanky for the count. These players are really trying to hold those angles right now, but I can't see any. Oh, Tanky almost not taking another shot. They got to be very careful with those peaks because, I mean, literally one bullet will take him down. Are they going to swing that? And it looks like the EMP is down, so Ground Zero is now um, stuck in this corner. And something needs to happen from uh, Ground Zero here. And they st oh, they try to get the EMP, but they picked up a pistol instead. That is so unfortunate. As I think Tan Tanky is trying to throw their last bit of life left just to pick up the EMP. And Ghost able to knock out Ivan from that long. Yeah, they got a two piece there on Karen. And Bishop able to finish up with a third piece there. It doesn't matter as a pure op finishes the whole game and gives out another round in the pocket for Outlaw. Anyways, getting some good value here from the drone again as they come in. And checking out all these corners here. And probably Ego's going to knock it out for the count, and it does. Bishop almost tries to swing that corner, but not quite committing yet. And a beautiful frag coming in. Oh my god, they were not ready for that. Kicking out Karen and Tanky. I'm gonna get that I'm gonna get that instant replay. That was beautiful by one. 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 Good one. And Link GTV with a beautiful frag himself with a knock on A Ghost, but that is still not quite a trade as it's a 4v3 right now um, for the Outlaw players. I'm a little skeptical about any more frags coming in here because, man, those Outlaw frags are really beautiful. But that Incendiary will knock him down for the count and Bishop holding that corner. But that smoke is going to be getting some good value potential out of that. Are they deciding to commit in there? They are. If I'm able to get some shots through that, through that wall as Bishop decides to fully commit and give them a good round in the pocket there. And that is going to be a first win right now for the Outlaw players.
Oh man, that was that was a good one. You know, I I was not quite sure how it was gonna work out. A lot of the uh, plays at the beginning uh, seemed to favor the ground zero players. They're holding it down consistently, always clutching it up when it came down to those one v ones. But I did say, hey, you know, notice that it was consistently one v ones on their defending side. You know, and I'm wondering if Outlaw can play a little bit better on their defending halves to have that happen a little bit less often. Um, will things work out for them? And that's what we saw, you know, really, really strong momentum from the Outlaw players coming into their own defending half that literally I think they won the next, uh, they have two rounds coming into the second half, right? So they won the next five rounds back to back to whatever um, against Ground Zero on the defending side right now. So as we can see, Outlaw's defense is just killing uh, Ground Zero right now as they could not penetrate it. But anyways, it looks like we are going to be going in sometime right now. Um, and it looks like we are coming in on, I believe this says Skyscraper. Um... Anyways, here I'm logging in that breach live right now, trying to get some attack in on this A side, but no one quite exchanging any bullets yet. But Karen is just waiting on that corner, waiting for something to happen. Saying swing and get swung. And oh, a terrible frag that doesn't quite work out for them. And they get that swing and it doesn't quite work the fragment out, but nothing quite happening yet. I think right now at this point, the ground zero players are just trying to buy time. For the Roman to get some value. And Ango's getting a beautiful frag, but it doesn't matter. Thank you there for the lead frag. And getting another two piece there. And oh, there's a three piece. Where is the last player? Oh, they're on that window. They get knocked out for the count. And that's a beautiful defensive play right now from ground zero. I mean, one, two, three players up. And seeing a very setup, very similar setup here from the ground zero players. I mean, last time we saw kind of a similar 4-1. Um, where they had like four players either anchored and or pretty close to sighted in that one deep roamer from Peppa Pig. My only complaint about Peppa Pig, I think they might be leaning a little bit too much on them. Maybe holding out their angles. Anyways, they try to get some shots off here, but I think goes goes into the frag and unfortunately gets flipped off by that side of the wall. Oh, and a beautiful trip mine there from the off. Like they were not expecting that as they entered sight. See a Peppa Pig on the back and get some value here as they decide to come in slowly. And radio is now been breached right now. Frag's coming out here, but no value yet. And Peppa Pig finding the swing in that corner. You're getting some shots off in the stand. They're not ready for that. Club Rudd tries to swing, but it doesn't matter. And can you get some beautiful wall bang? They're now coming down to Club Rudd. I don't think they'll be ready for Peppa Pig there in the long corner. They got that shot off. Beautiful frag there. I don't think it quite goes anywhere, but I've been throwing out a frag that tries to get some value, but nothing quite there yet. As Ghost is watching this corner, but I mean they gotta watch out for Link's GTV there. It's holding a nasty angle. Anyways, the outlaw players are finally getting set up here. I believe we're going to be now. seeing some moves here from Peppa Pig. As Karen holds the angle, Minky kills some shots off on A Ghost, but it doesn't matter. The new track doesn't matter. There's another free frag. Oh my goodness. Shots going live. They're now coming down to Bishop as they try to swing that, but it does not work out for them as the ground zero players had a beautiful pinch there. And Outlaw just holding these angles. Evil frag coming out, but nothing quite happened yet. Ooh, and some shots in, but nothing quite there. There's another frag coming out there. And again, good value from the ground zero players getting some shots off and a oh, good amount of health that damage. That but Link GT able to finish that one. Shot. Diving deep in, but they were not ready for that one. As now, there's a three piece there from the Outlaw players. And it now comes down to Peppa Pig, who is now in a 1v3 scenario. I'm surprised they actually haven't committed yet to the room, but hey. I understand playing a little bit more conservative. They might be going in for a save. Man, I think that's what they're doing. I'm uh, Nothing quite uh, deep from the ground. Zero. Player. <laughs> the frag coming out, but able to talk, take out the drone down for the count. 
Oh, and the incendiary unfortunately hurts the bishop there, and they try to get some beautiful wall banks and some Terrans that get a lot of value. And at this point, it might be a fight here between them and I've been on the back corner there. I want to see some value there. Beautiful shots from Ivan as they do a perfect timing attack. Frag coming out there, but can we get some value from the tanky as they fold down this corner? And it's a nasty corner. And Link TV getting some shots out, and you're able there for the refrag there. But can they hope it down to get a pig? It is traded, but nothing quite ending there. A lot of smart trading here with the syringe. I think Tanky just holding and biding their time. At this point, can Karen hold this angle? Prevent Bishop and all of them from swinging in wide. As Tanky comes in wide, gets a one, two, almost three piece there. And Bishop instead switches out for the two piece, gets a three piece themselves. I'm gonna get that little instant replay. Now coming down to a 1v1 between Peppa Pig, right? Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig and your bishop. Oh my goodness, I hate the spectator client right now. It's fine. And Bishop playing it smart. I'm surprised they decided to do that, but hey, things worked out for them. What are they doing? Maybe their hand is broken? This might be the worst time for this to happen, but hey. <laughs> I think at this point, uh, Outlaw will be happy with what's going on on the ground zero player side. Um, I think their hand is literally broken. Wow, look at that. Yeah, it's like frozen in space. Terrible timing. You know, sometimes you got to double check that battery health. Um, Yeah, I think they're they can't even move. Oh yeah, their their left hand is the mobility. As they're gonna have to hold this one and save uh with one handed um Vezin as their left hand is broken. That is honestly one of the most unfortunate happenings I've seen with the with a player, I think, on a on a a, a league match there. Looks like Karen holding these angles here. And, oh, it's a beautiful shot out from them there. They were not expecting such a quick entry from the Outlaw players. And Plowbro coming in, swinging wide, trying to get some good value here. And, wow, two players from ground zero playing very aggressive on this defense. Really trying to hold out this hallway, preventing them from coming in. It looks like Link needs to be on that back end for that roaming play. But I mean, a 5v4 right now. Can they get some good value here? For someone, Ivan. Uh, Club, I can hold that, but no. Link needs to be some beautiful value there with a trade. Now 4 4 between these two teams. Can Outlaw get this attack to work out, or is it going to fall apart? Now aware that they have Link GTV on the back end there. And Tanky giving some really good value out of the angle there that enabled to knock down your off with the count. A goes probably trying to swing in wider, but that breach door is going to be holding them down. Beautiful frag coming out, but unfortunately it bounces back. And Tanky goes in for the swing. It's a one, two piece, maybe a three piece. Nope, M finishes them down for the refrag, now leaving a 1v2. This is not an impossible attack, but they, they, this is it actually. This is the last round. They got to do this or die. And it looks like um, Peppa Pig again with a dead hand. This is literally the time for Bishop to decide to push this. Peppa Pig now going to be holding a crazy angle. And I think at this point it's going to make sense if Ivan decides to use them as uh, potentially a, um, um, a distraction play. Unaware. <laughs> it's great. Unaware to Femme. 
Um, if they push this, they can honestly take it because it's technically a 1v1, especially if they're going to be pushing on B side. They gotta do something here. I don't think they have the EMP actually. Oh, and Ivan gets a beautiful shot there on them. They were not ready for that, but Ground Zero able to win that one out. Anyways, Ground Zero players coming in, checking out this hallway, and I'm probably going in for some deep roamer clears. Um, but that looks like they're not gonna really get that much value out of it as the outlaw players have five of them and are pretty close to sight. Any ground zero players coming over here? We got some turtle walking here. What is what is it called when they have like three or four four or more turtles coming up? Um, I think I asked about it on one of my casts. Karen definitely knows that someone is behind that corner. Them deciding to swing that, but no, they see three people there, and they oh, it's almost a trade there between Ivan and Europe. Beautiful frag coming out, not really producing any value here, but the beautiful uh, coming in pretty soon. Why and Bishop and Karen get some beautiful shots in there. A lot of a lot of frag in here. I cannot hold these angles. There's Wilhelm wide. Club are known to be monster with great speed for that refrag. Doesn't matter as Ground Zero finishes that one out and knocks out all the outlaw players i wow that was a very fast and moving um attack on b side frags come out here and i think ground zero is going in for the crazy and aggressive attack and bishop now waiting not ready for tanky on that attack but you're about to get some shots off there and knock out links gtv who has the emp in hand oh and fam almost getting knocked down for the count there Try swinging again, but it looks at like the is finally getting planted there by the ground zero players. And finally getting planted is now 45 seconds counting until something happens. Sorry, until the round is over. Something happens. <laughs> something happens. My brain is fried for sure. And Karen able to get some shots off on Plubra as that Romer is shut down. But you're up again getting another shot off. But I've been with a beautiful Vezin in hand able to knock down for the count. But it looks like Ego's on the back end there trying to get some value. But Karen has just been holding off the roamers. Now leaving it to a 3v1 here for Europe. But I mean, they're swinging in wide. Solo trying to hold it down. Is Peppa Pig going to be coming in swinging wide? And it's a beautiful ending there for the ground zero players. Now leaving it down to a 2v6. It looks like we might be going in for a map 3 decider here. As the ground zero player is now on match point against Outlaw. But wow, such a wide attack here from the ground zero players. I mean, literally one, two, three, four, five players all around, but it looks like they will be coming into this lounge area. Oh, and Fem able to get some shots off there, and a ghost themselves as they knock down all the players um, on that corner. And man, this defense is looking, you know, I was just talking about how good ground zero was doing but man that outlaw defense just came through right now and that emp is now stuck as one two players from the ground zero side have to go retrieve it looks like karen and peppa pig are going to be regrouping Oh, and <laughs> definitely some distraction shots coming out here. I don't think they'd be playing it, but I think they might be going in kind of for an aggressive save with some angles being held. This is a good angle. I don't know. I was wondering if it's like. Oh. Looks like we got some boxing going on here. And <laughs> it looks like Ghost actually goes in for the breach wall plant, um, which. You know, I'm, all, I'm always mixed on whether I think those are good value, um, those breakable doors. Um, good value on the uh, windows or not. I feel like it's really easy. Oh my goodness, Plubber able to knock down Karen for the count. Oh yeah, you're right. Um, the Looks like the scoreboard actually is correct. Got one, two, two players up. Is this correct? Yeah, this is correct. One, Karen and Link GTV got killed. All right, yeah. Frag coming out there, and Peppa Pig 
able to barely escape that one. Thank you, Aviator Nick. I actually didn't even think about the scoreboard, that it actually is more correct. Hmm. Good call out there. I will be using, I will flash, I'll be flashing that when I can. Unfortunately, it doesn't work for the economy choices. Oh, and Plumber able to get another shot off on Ivan there. I mean, now a 5v2 between the two sides. And I mean, is Ground Zero going to be going in for another save? I mean, they got to do something here. I don't know what is going on with their attack, but it has now been falling apart. And this is the outlaw I needed to see, you know, in the previous rounds um, when, they're, when they were defending. I don't know what happened, um, but they are almost reading Ground Zero like a book. Ground Zero players will be set up up here on radio. Looks like they might be coming in sometime soon here. Beautiful frag there. Link GTL to swing in wide on radio. Now being cont contested by Ground Zero. And it looks like Tanky tries to get that long shot, but in the back, and Flubber able to knock him down in the hallway. So, frags are coming out here from Link GT with that Maruvi in hand, trying to get some beautiful wall bangs there. What else can they do? They're just holding these angles. Breach coming out live. Lots of frags and incendiaries and all, all of the above. It flashes too. But Yurov in the corner holding it down. Have a big swing to get shot down themselves. Oh, and Yurov gets a two, three piece. But Karen tries to swing it and holds her angle. But no, Yurov gets another piece. I can't believe it worked out. But Tanky is swinging in on the back. But it doesn't matter. His bishop shuts that one down. And that leaves it all down for the outlaw players. Anyways, this is going to be the last attack from ground zero. I wonder if they can finally get a good attack set up here. Because Outlaw has just been holding it down every single time. But, I mean, we're already seeing some small economy disadvantages. When you have ground zero players having a support, a Cadillo in hand. Club Ra on that back end. I'm surprised that no one's checking it. Oh, and they are all running all over that room. Oh, and Plumbo starts a little bit too early, but gets swung by Peppa Pig. That is unfortunate time for the Outlaw player, and it looks like I'm wondering if that's going to be the nail in the coffin for Outlaw. But grounds, because as Ground Zero now has a 5v4 um, to the Outlaw player. And we even got Tanky on the other end, trying to hold some angles and get some good shots, and potentially on this hallway. Maybe trying to bait out some of the uh, Outlaw players. Oh, and they were not ready for Tanky there as they swung that one in. And it looks like they are going in live right now. Oh, and they got a two-piece over there with Bishop here. But they two-piece themselves, but it doesn't matter as it looks like. Round Zero actually wins that one now. Finally giving themselves the much-deserved win on Skyscraper. And it looks like we are hopping right back into it. Sorry, y'all just came in quick from the ad break. I know they, I was just kind of waiting on the team to see if they came in. Um, but it looks like they are returning back. And it looks like we are going to be going right into hideout. Anyways, that log getting set up here. Looks like they are going to be getting a push in sometime soon. And oh, some wall banks coming in here. And some good value here for Karen. And have to play again. They're on the, never mind. Link GTV and some shots off his fan. They were not ready for that. Now a 4v5. Check that one out there. Big. Coming, never mind. I thought they were about to go down the steps, but they decided to peel off. Played a little safe. As they come around the corner here, get some shots on Plup. Nope, they're gonna be ha hanging out here. Are they just gonna watch them? I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for the value there. Never mind. They didn't do it. And a beautiful. Oh, it's a beautiful two-piece there from Peppa Pig. Is they beautifully 
Um, told her team exactly where the people were at and got some good value out of them. Never mind, they are able to get onto the garage. And again, Peppa Pig on that roaming there, waiting to get some value. A swing here soon from Peppa Pig as they do see someone in the corner getting some shots off on Europe. off. Get a two piece there from Peppa Pig. And I'm going to give them a the little instant replay there because Peppa Pig has been on fire now, leaving only two players from the outlaw side. But never mind. Plumbro gets a shot off on Ivan. Now a 2v3 from the outlaw and ground zero players. Omen and stem on your side. And they swing, but never mind. Bishop is able to finish someone out with the frag from Link GTV also works out. It is now a 2v1. Um, but that health economy is not looking good for never mind it looks it's a 2v1 yes uh, this is so annoying bishop holding these angles they see karen in the corner they're about to swing it oh man and bishop has a beautiful shot can he get a kill i want to see someone get a kill like come on come on you gotta do this you gotta do this bishop oh they see karen there they try to swing it but it doesn't quite work out for them and no they almost got some value but not quite Oh, and they got two shots uh, there from, sorry, they got shot by Lynx GTV there. And no pressure. <laughs> I feel like it's Casper's Curse there. I really wanted that kill, but hey, it worked out, I think, for the Ground Zero players. But, I mean, I don't know. It's, oh my god, look at, that's what I'm talking about. Karen getting a beautiful wall bang there. So those players were just not ready for that. Here, kind of thing. Oh, it gets knocked out by Bishop. They were. Oh, and there's a beautiful uh, frag out there. That is just, it's just an unfortunate trade there. Um, this is now a 4v3 for the Outlaw. Sorry, uh, for the Ground Zero players. As another frag comes out crazy deep in that. Oh, they get some good value out of that. Surprised I didn't really hit here and even get hit by that. Oh, his Fem is able to get a shot off without Karen, but now I've been with the frag for the Bishop able to knock him down for the count. Now leaving it down at Link TV and Tanky on the back end there as they go in for the swing and they. Oh my god, they made that one work out and let's check that out for a second. As somehow they got the shot there on the back and there it came from Link's GTV as Bishop is able to swing that on both players and get that beautiful two piece in the end there. Oh, the wall oh, oh and Link's GTV gets a beautiful shot up out on that. As the frag comes out, I'm surprised that they went for that, but hey, I want to get some good value from that in the back end there. Nothing quite happening, and again, those wall banks are just coming out and getting a lot of good value. Do have a lot of time. Surprised I actually didn't see them come in earlier on this. And you're up, able to get some shots off on Link TV there. I don't think they were ready for that shot quite yet, but I've been able to finish down and knock down Fem for the cap. And you're up, getting a beautiful headshot on Pepper Cake there. And it looks like they are aware that Tanky is in the back corner there. I, are they using a Taurus? It looks like they are. But now it's a 3v, 3v2 as they decide to swing in on here. I'm surprised they still have that player in the back there. And you're up in the corner. I don't think Karen is ready for the push. Never mind. They are. Never mind. Karen, they're able to knock down the 8. Goes for the count. You're up. Is in the corner. Gets knocked down by Karen. It's a beautiful two-piece them from them. Can they get a third? But they know, do they know the EMP is down? As they decide to swing and on Karen, but it doesn't matter, Tanky's there for the follow-up. And that is beautiful. I didn't just get one, but I actually got two kills on camera. That is crazy. I mean, beautiful shots there from both players. But Peppa Pig, very much aware that there's a player in here. Do they know that came, someone came in though, is the question. And this is going to be it. Plumbro decides to swing it in. Oh, they barely knocked down. Uh, they barely knocked down Peppa Pig. That is just wow. I mean, that was swinger gets swung for one health. And Tanky might be on the receiving end of some damage here as they are not aware that that's going to be happening sometime soon.
And Tate, he definitely sees Fish and Tate. Terrible timing there. They try to swing, but you're off. Able to get some shots off. Now a 4v3 here. Um, never mind. It's a 3v3. Never mind. It's a 2v1. Gee, what happened there is there are refrags, trades, everything happening there. But I think they see them in the corner. And the frag almost gets a lot of value, but does not matter. Seattle yeah, player able to get that win. All I was going to want to do to be able to hold down and show that ground zero is here, and, you know, and they, they want to showcase that they know what they're doing on a top fit and a top 20 team. But a ground zero is here to really prove what they can do and really fight themselves all the way up potentially to even master tier. I mean, so a lot of these players, like, check them out. They have finalist skins. They've been, they played in the top eight before. And looks like Outlaw going into the double droning gameplay here. Almost catching Peppa Pig on the out uh, outside there, but it looks like Peppa might be- Oh, they get in the wall bang! There was a beautiful frag coming out. I don't think it quite worked out as it bounced all the way back. But again, this doesn't quite matter as it is still a 5v5 on both sides. Oh, and the wall bang's almost catching out. Bam on the back in there with a beautiful shot in and Peppa Pig getting killed. And the breach is coming out now. Now a 5v4. Um, for the outlaw players, can they get value out of this? They know something's gonna be happening. Here. And I've been able to get some beautiful shots off and knock them able to knock on taking the back in there. And I've been there for a two piece. And Fem able to get a two piece themselves. We're getting two piece for two piece. Who should win this? They swung on and they won that one out. I mean, 3v3 between the two teams. What can you say? These teams are doing amazing right now as they've been holding this one out. And we're probably going to be seeing some action here soon on this staircase. As Tanky really checks the corner. Oh, and they almost got Flubber, but just by the spin of their elbow. As uh -huh. she to be able to come in on stores now. And they're held down with the Egos now trapped between two players. And it doesn't matter. I think he able to knock them down for the count. And I think them on that back end. Now a, what is this, 4v3. Between the two sides. And they do have a rumor off sides with really a 4v2. Unless Fem can get some really good value on that second floor. And it looks like they might. As Tanky gets shot down for the count. But it's a trade on the Peppa Pig. Oh, and Fem able to get a two-piece there. Can they follow this one up? And this, I've been trying to swing it, and they somehow survived that. Now coming down to a 2v1 as I've been decided to swing it, but it doesn't matter. Zirob able to finish that one out. Let's keep getting those replays in. I mean, Fem getting a beautiful two-piece there, finishing things up, and Yurop doing a lot of value um, for the... Is it Outlaw? Yeah, Outlaw's on the defending side. Outlaw's side. As they all decide to push in on this family room balcony. Ego's trying to hold that long angle there, and they almost get the value on it. Never mind, they do get the shot off on high bang. And Flubra is just trying to hold his wall bang. I think Ego's trying to get another peek here. Maybe a little bit risky, but hey, it's getting some good value here. You're up. Oh my goodness, Ego just gets the shots off there. I think they try to get the shots off, but it doesn't matter if you need. As they kill that, I think Flubber one-handed that. That was beautiful place, and the frag comes out, but not quite finishing them. Wow, there's a thunderstorm going on outside my house right now, but it's fine. Fed decided to swing that, and it will knock him down for the count. And again, Outlaw gets another round in the pocket. It is looking rough right now for ground zero, but this is what I'm talking about. Look at the Outlaw side. I mean, only one, two players alive. Um, definitely some big investments from them, but hey two players alive that does mean they can buy and Let me just watch the game and see how it actually pans out as the ground zero players come in hot and heavy on this um, That should not have used um, Pretty pretty aggressive in on this wine cellar corner. I think Plover trying to watch the certain angles and get some shots on a Peppa Pig there Looks like the incendiary is coming out to go down the progression of the ground zero players And Tanky trying to get some shots on that corner but it looks like they actually did a get crazy up, get up, get up, get up. switch up I, 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 two, on the B I, 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 side as they got that two, planned, and I can't believe that worked out. At this point, it is a 2v4 for the ground zero players. This is a huge gamble, but it's got to work out for them. They got to somehow get some beautiful picks off here. I mean, one, two, three, four players there. Can Link GTV hold off on the angle there? Oh, it's a three-piece there for Karen. I mean... 
What else can you expect there? That is exactly some beautiful gameplay, and that's exactly what they wanted. It goes tries to escape, but gets shot off, and that's a beautiful four piece from Karen there. What's going on there? The frag on live. There's nothing quite happening here, and I think another frag. That was a beautiful bounce. Not quite getting anyone there. Where are all the players? I think they might be going in for kind of a distraction play with Ibit on the back in there. You know, they've been playing heavy on the A site. Oh my god, and a beautiful wall bang on Plow Brother. I don't think they were expecting that. Frag coming out there, and it's a beautiful timing. Tang knows how to pull uh, back and link Can I get the same? Off. On the back end there, I don't think they're expecting to see. Um, uh, sorry, I don't think Fem was expecting to see Linky. Never mind. Ghost gets a shot off on Peppa Pig, and that shuts down the play. Oh, and Bishop on the back end there. But it looks like the players are regrouping. Looks like Europe is now going to be having to fight out their own angle, but getting shot down by Tanky there. And Tanky gets a two piece there on Ego. It's now coming down to Bishop. I think it's a 1v3 at this point. They got to do something. Oh, they swing out, but they get shot out here now. 5v5, and it is coming down to it. Wow. A very very interesting 4-1 setup here. I don't know if y'all can see this. Um, for the ground, the zero players, this tanky is on the other side trying to cause some distractions, trying to cause some confusion. Oh, the Plubra was beautifully set up there. Tanky was not ready for that i mean that is just unfortunate and the wall makes coming in here and blah blah getting another beautiful two-piece there on link tv and some of tries to swing and able to get some shots off but you're off there for the refrag now leaving it down to uh i've been in Karen. oh it's a beautiful frag comes all the way out but doesn't quite hit karen and at this point, if I were ally, I would play very conservative. Like, you have a really good foothold on them. I mean, that 3v2 right now. You know both players are over there. And I think Bishop, oh, sneaks in the corner here. I wonder if they're going to be able to get a shot off. Oh, but they got, they have a spectral in hand. Oh, no. <laughs> they need another gun. But it looks like Ground Zero, their eye shield might have made the call out. Said, hey, pull off side. We're going to go for the reset. And it is going to be a beautiful reset as now. Look at all those outlaw players that are going to be watching on the A site. About a minute left. I mean, this is a big reset, but they got to get some value out of this. This might be, it was a little bit risky in the time because look, it is counting down. They got 45 seconds. It is ticking down. They got to do something here. Oh, and the call goes out. They definitely know the players are on the other side now. And beautiful placement. They know they got to get some time going. And I don't know if Karen's going to be ready for this. Oh, and it gets a lot of shots off on them, but they still got that syringe in hand. Oh, and Bishop getting a beautiful Katio. Can they get the two piece? No, Karen there, but they get knocked out by Europe in the corner there. And that gives Outlaw another round in the pocket, but they are not out of it. At this point, ground zero, they can get the win and force a tie for the series. But Outlaw, they do have one last chance to win this one out. And this is it. All cards are on the table at this point. Both teams have been all in. And this is literally down to the count here. Ground Zero has to have some kind of strong decisive play. And they do. I can't believe they went in for the pub strat where they went all in. Where are the utility choices here? As Bishop tries to go in, but I've been able to get some shots off there. The frag comes out, but unfortunately doesn't see it. But never mind, they got two piece there. And it comes down to a... 4v2 it is not an impossible ask for outlaw to win this but they gotta do something here someone should have been running up to that second floor i think it's too late of a push someone's gotta do it they gotta go in for the defuse they gotta know that link tv is right there what are they they gotta do something they get this is it Oh, and Linky T will get the shots off there. Nice. No, this comes down to the wire, and it comes down to ground zero. I unfortunately, I don't think I have a no win button. Um, so <laughs> uh, this is a draw.
This is going to be a draw. Unfortunately, nobody wins that one out. Let's just head back to the post game. I mean, exciting stuff. I did not know what was going to happen. I honestly thought Outlaw was going to win that. I mean, a 4v2 against Ground Zero. I thought, you know, they're going to have a crazy rotation from the Outlaw players on that second floor. We're able to knock out some players. I think they might have been a little hasty on some of the choices they made when they made that rotation. Because um, they unfortunately were not able to make it work out for themselves. And Ground Zero actually forced this into a tie. So this is a tie. This is a series tie.